colors of some of these are just far out, yes? Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Look at that. Wow. No scallops. They're the ones that are shaped like that. Big ones used for soap dishes all over the world. So, I was born in, uh, oh, in Oregon, but the little town that I lived in, uh, my dad was a scallop shucker in Newport on the Yaquina Bay, a little muddy bay up in Oregon. So when I see scallops, that's what I think of, his dad bringing home trunks of scallops, because at the end of the day, the factory would shut down and uh, they'd fill their trunks because they were having a bonanza up there. Oh, abalone is so beautiful. You see the rainbows in that? Look at that piece. That's just far out awesome. That is, don't you? The farther we get away from people, the better and better it'll be. That's what I was saying. That's a whole huge abalone. See this one shining up the beach at me. See it? Is that giving you the rainbow glint? That, that's some pure This is soft enough to where you can grind it down on a little grindstone if you add water to it. Look at this, it's like the biggest inland sea in this whole rock thing. Let's go look down in it and see if there's any bigger fish or anything trapped in there. We'll kind of stay low and we'll creep up to the edge of it and we'll look in there and see. Now this is freaking cool. I wish I knew what it was. I guess it's the bottom of a slug or a snail, but he's floating on the surface tension. That's pretty magical. What are you, you little weirdo? See that? He's got to be a little rare. Do you want to... God, what is he? See his whole digestive tract there? Looks like he's got... a little furry... back on him. A little magic water sprite is what that is. Look at that thing. It's teeny tiny in this little lake. Okay, let's scoop him up and look. What are you? Oh my god, he just turned into goo. Hopefully I don't get stung. You see that? He's not liking that. That is not a snail. Here, put you back in the water. Hopefully I didn't mess with him. Whoa. 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 You are bizarre and cool you are definitely a detail he's some sort of shellless snail thing it's the bottom of the tide pool so this is a great place to take kids. I mean, uh, they could just basically see and touch everything here. What are you guys? Oh, I'm glad we came back out here. Ten, look at that. Are you alive? Let's check the bottom for teeth. No, it's a plant. It's feathery though. 
and then lift it out of the water. Oh, foot in the water. Wet foot halfway through the day. Now look at that. Another one over here. These don't seem to be attached to the bottom, so maybe they washed off. But yeah. Cool little creatures. Okay, man, this is going to be like Trivial Pursuit for everybody out there. So seriously, hit me up on the comments and let me know what some of these things are because I'm surrounded by brainiacs all the time that know everything. And, you know, they generally do, which is, it's cool. But look. What? 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 What is that? You see it? This is one I don't want to touch too much. It looks like a tapeworm or something. This is going to be like a... We're going to poke it. Okay. Oh. Here's another little guy. I can see why I was missing these. Different type of little crab. He's missing a couple legs on the back. Ay, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's his little claws. He's smaller. There's a little pinchy face. Can't quite get this one turned around. There's his back. Ugh. Spidery little beast. Put him carefully back in the water. Boom, that one blends in good, huh? Keep your eyes out. You see these marks on the rock there? You see the little patterns? Those are snail mouths going over it, eating the little scum off. You see that? the inside of one of these creatures that sticks on the rock that's what their back looks like but look at the aqua in that that is really nice yeah yeah here's the variety random why isn't everything just one shape in nature and in the universe is it for our enjoyment? Is it just patterns playing out to the fullest of their extent, trying every single mutation possible, and Darwinism coming in to, to secure that? Is it grand design that carefully mapped out and filled it with a plethora of different varieties and shades of beauty? All I know is there is a lot of different things on this planet. And every time that you think you're getting a grip on how many different wondrous things, your mind will be blown again. You'll realize tip of the iceberg and you'll never have enough time. So definitely, time is the most precious thing. And so off we go. There's not a footprint on this beach. That feels kind of awesome. Walking up to look at this section, these are more deeply eroded and there's these canyons coming out of it, all Baja style. So I thought we'd give it a look. Go back up to the drift line a little bit. We were out there checking that out. There's that inland sea. And on and on. Boy, look at that relic. That's off a big old ship, huh? Oh, it's seen some, some bending. That piece of metal is cool. Square bolts. Do you know what that is? It's a fish head. I think those, uh, let's see, what are they? The lingcod? 
I'm guessing Lincod. Uh, it is time for the the bullhorn. So you need a big piece like this. It's kind of what I've been waiting for. And they can be dry or fresh, but they got to be big. This is a big old chunk of bull kelp. Bigger the better. The better tone. I'm gonna show you something cool here. The I get away, the uh, more cool pieces of abalone and the other shells are showing up. I have them all along the ground here. See the pinks in that one? is coming in reclaiming a lot of it down to where the gravel is and it's hollow up to a certain point so you're going to go about Maybe twice the thickness of your thumb, that's going to be your mouthpiece. And then we're going to come down here at the end and do the same thing basically. Cut that off so that there's a hole. Now we have our horn. ridiculously far out here the tides coming in should we head back or should we go even farther this goes way up there you guys there's miles and miles and miles and miles and miles and miles so you'd never run out and then up above here there's more and more parking lots and trails that you can hike down and uh, get to the end and there's a mountain that you can see when you're out surfing that the surfers called double point so that's how I knew this place as its name originally. There's this waterfall coming down here. It's just kind of a slow seep. So all kinds of pretty things have grown in it. Pretty awesome. Okay. Does anybody recognize what this is? This is what they're going after all over. This is a type of sandstone, but it's naturally impregnated with uh, oil. So that's just raw oil. If you could smell it, it reeks like oil. And I find bars of these on the coast, so it's layers of stuff. And this is the uh, some of the sands that they're fracking out around the world. There it is, the gob of the black stuff. See how it doesn't match anything else on the beach around it? I think there's another darker chunk here. You know, it occurs in these, nah. It occurs in these sedimentary layers. There's big chunks of it around Point Arena, Point Arena, here in California. And, uh, Yep, that's a gob of oil. You squeeze that or pressure that, oil squirts out. So up above, 
the layer of whoo, smells like asphalt. I was gonna say, look at that cool little cave. Little fox burrow or something. Maybe when this was uh had more dirt on it and hadn't caved away, that was a little burrow. Who knows, maybe the water did it. There's constant little landslides happening up here. Check that out. Right. I guess that's one of the benefits of being out here at the end of the world is uh, you get to see where all the streams go to. Look at that one. Massively high. This gets to the end of its run in the forest up above and plunges over the edge. Look at the life just where the water is even on the sheer cliff. All devoid of life. And then just lush. Little stripe all the way down. Long empty beach behind me. Not another soul out here today. We got a long ways to go back. I'm glad you guys are with me. Otherwise, I'd be lonely. Look at that, that's a big old uncultivated oyster shell, but look at the patterns of growth on it and you made that ridge. He looks kind of different, doesn't he? Let me go give it a look, snatch him up before he runs away, snatch! Oh, you can't get me, you want to get me, but you can't, that would hurt. Little polka dots. We're looking at you. Oh, he's pinching his own face. This guy gets me, it's gonna be bad. He's trying to get me from behind here too. Little back pinchers. We just wanna show him your color and stuff. You better calm down. You pinched almost the size of a small crawdad there, buddy. You don't know who you're talking to. Look what we got over here. Where'd he go? This is a whole nother type of looking crab. I'm gonna snatch him up, show you these guys together. Gotta be careful here. Maybe these are male and females. Look at the little teeny tiny dots on this one. And the big old dots on that one. Got a two crab grab going on here. Two crab grab, two crab grab. Out at the coast. I got the most. Let's have a roast. No, I'm just kidding. I just love how different everybody is. Boom, boom, sorry. Bunch of different colors. Everybody blending into their own little niche. Right on.
beautiful. Look at that. That one's got some flow and some texture to it. See the three ridge spiral? Nobody in there? Nobody in there. Those layers are layers of growth. Pretty cool, huh? Show this guy to you. I don't know what he is. He's black. He's fast. Whoa, look at these. Look at a little. Oh, come on. Come on. Look, little shrimp guys. Far out. Look at the other little ones. Do, 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 do. Tell me those aren't cool. All kinds of fun stuff. I'm just moving rocks and seeing what's there. Can we grab one? No. They are fast. And I saw something black and eel like moving. Where did you go? We'll lift this whole Heidi rock out. Whoa! Look at that. That one's even a whole different arrangement of pinks. Show them your face. Pinky. Pretty cool. But I do not see the quick black thing that was going. Did you see which way they went? I'm not. Trying to hide his head like an ostrich. Trying to get him going in my hand. He's almost grabbable. Kind of. Okay. You see him? Okay. You see him? Hi, little eel guy. Oh, don't go! Oh, God. Did you see? There he is. Look at that little crab. Each one's different. Come on, little guy. Back into my hand. Where'd you go? Come on. I don't think he wants to play. Getting late in the day. Layers in this cliff. And then uh, the caves and crevices and burrows up in there. Look at that. Blah. Wonder if that's natural or digging. What do you think? Coming in on us, it's eating up the rocks. That's what it starts to look like. We were lucky to be out there. That's pretty Looks like this guy got left. Oh, he's still hanging on. Yeah, it looks like the super low tide kind of got to him. Is there any life left in you? Yeah, he's moving around a little bit. So today it was really hot for the coast in the middle of winter. Ah, that might feel really good. But look at the patterns on him. Different type of starfish. Pretty awesome, huh? I think somebody else gathered these and set them here. Oh, that's what you want. Look at that, that is beautiful. The whole thing rainbowed off and swirly. God. Gorgeous people. You can, yeah, look at that. Just rainbow metal. Killer. And the, the rolling around in the ocean has worn off all the rough stuff. Beautiful. You can see the spiral of its growth. Wow. Look at it. Oh. Oh. Sorry for the grunting noises. Look at that one. Oh my god. We're gonna make something cool. We are, we are. Let's 
Christ are you? Oh, poor crab. But we're far enough out now to where people, only a few people come out here and then probably gonna be like me and take high grade through everything. Take my favorite little pieces. But yeah, beautifulness everywhere. When they are all uh, dried out, there's their outside if you've seen them stuck to rocks before. And their inside is just that really pretty aqua. Dunk. It's a hat. Another piece. You'll know it because it has to look exactly like this and it has to be marrow. It has to be like the most air holes that you can imagine in between. Not just a holy rock, but, but marrow. Whalebone. Man, I don't know. It's one of my favorite things out here. I like that. I was going to salvage the uh, fishing line so it's not out in the environment. You see what it is? It's the workings of a big old bait caster reel. There's the handle. Somehow all that got snagged up in there. <laughs> they probably just threw the whole thing overboard. That's crazy. Craziness. But we'll definitely get that out of here. Put that right down in the treasure bag. And haul it with us. Because that's just too many nooses in one spot. Greens in this one. Look at that. Oh, choices, choices. The sky's starting to get that look. Miles back. Miles back. Top of those bluffs. Way down there. So, wife, kids, bandmates, family, friends, if you're wondering where I'm at, you know how I am. Probably just gonna run this one the distance. Thank you guys for sticking with me. I keep going. The quest continues. Okay, here's our cleanup. Check out the colors on these. Just wild colors. I am very happy we got a whale bone. We got all these different awesome colors of uh, abalone. Got my dog treats. Make sure I get these the brilliance of these. I am just really overjoyed with the little pieces of abalone and make some beautiful little art and give it away. We've got our pinks. We've got our agates. Urchins. Some cool little shells. Different colors of oyster. So, thank you guys for coming with me. This is really awesome. Well, I hope to see you out there.